What's going on my bears? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Andrew and I'll be your food guide for today. So I'm actually using a green screen right now and it's because I didn't feel like getting a whole camera set up in this restaurant. It was a pretty small restaurant so I didn't want to bother people who were sort of dining. It wasn't really like super fine dining or really fancy but it was just so enough that I didn't want to bother people. Today is going to be a voiceover. I hope you all like this style of video. Uh, if you do, I might do these more often. But anyway, today we're going to try out Blanc de Blancs. It's an Italian restaurant down in Busan, South Korea. And I was lucky enough while I was there to try out this amazing food. And they're really known for their risotto, which is a Italian rice dish, I think Northern Italy. And it's pretty much just like a savory dish, uh, rice dish with some broth. And the one that's made here at Blanc de Blancs, incredible. Lots of uh, cheesy flavors, lots of umami flavors from mushrooms and stuff like that. Uh, but I'll talk about that later in the voiceover. But anyway, it's really cool because this restaurant is run by a mother and son team. The son was a hotel chef and he quit the hotel work and opened up his own place. This guy really knocks it out of the park with all of his food. That's all I got for this intro portion. Let's go on into the voiceover. All right, so we have uh, the menu here and on the front of the menu, there is two set options that you can get for two to three people or three to four people. And it basically just comes with a bunch of different pastas and appetizers and desserts as well. We have soup, salad, pasta, all the kind of typical Italian things that you can think of. And uh, they also have a pizza option, so thin pizzas. I really wanted to try the gorgonzola pizza, uh, but we went ahead and got the margarita pizza instead. And uh, on the very back, they got the wine list here. Quite a few different wine options, actually, uh, which is quite surprising. Like most restaurants, they do serve some free bread uh, as a sort of appetizer, and it did come with um, an oil and I think like a balsamic that was in there. I can't remember for sure. This video was actually filmed quite some time ago, but I believe it was like a balsamic and oil. And the bread itself was decent enough, uh, but nothing to really write home about. But here we have the more important item on the menu, which was the risotto. And this risotto is, like I mentioned, uh, what Blanc de Blancs is known for. And believe me when I say this was the best risotto I've ever eaten in my life. Uh, it comes with a lot of different seafoods and just just flat out delicious. Uh, this is the aglio olio, uh, so it's a garlic and oil pasta with some Roma tomatoes in there and a little bit of Parmesan cheese, kind of just grated on the top. And the presentation is phenomenal and the taste also phenomenal. It really does taste as good as it looks. So I'm just uh, getting a little taste test here just to show you guys. It was extremely hot, but you can see so much seafood in there. And uh, I really like the amount of shrimp and lobster bits and clams and mussels that you got. Honestly, if I can go back uh, soon to Busan at any time in my life, definitely going to make another stop at Blanc de Blancs. It's really that good. So here, I'm just grabbing some of that pasta. And honestly, the pasta was, uh, it was really delicious, but it doesn't even hold a candle to how good the risotto is. But if you do like a nice garlic oil pasta, definitely have to give this a recommendation. So interestingly, um, Tina here, she ordered the pasta for her meal and I got the risotto for mine because it is really cheesy. But at the end of our meal, she did tell me that she actually liked the risotto a lot more than she liked the pasta. And that's saying something because Tina does not like cheese. She's not really a cheese fiend like I am. So that I really just want to exemplify for you all just how incredibly good this risotto is. Here's just like a close up shot of it. You can see so much seafood in that so much rice 
And on the table, that little pink thing, I'm not sure why, but it was just kind of like a cabbage salad that was fermented. Uh, it was interesting. It wasn't great. It was just sort of there. Uh, this is the pizza. This is the margarita pizza. For some reason, it came with, um, I think they were like raisins, uh, really big raisins. And they were clearly like the Korean type of grape, which is a, a really big kind of grape. So it was very interesting to see uh, the Korean style of grape being dried out like that. The pizza itself was really good. Uh, I do wish that it was a little bit crispier and a little bit more burnt. Um, a lot of Italians will tell you, or at least uh, pizza makers will tell you, that a good pizza has to be burnt a little. And for me, I feel like the dough of the pizza was a little bit too flimsy. But overall, the flavors, the pizza sauce, uh, the cheese was honestly a perfect amount. And uh, the Korean style uh, grapes that were on the pizza, the raisins, it actually was better than I expected. Uh, normally it's like, a, if anything, you'll get like sun-dried tomatoes on that, but no, the pizza was actually pretty good. So at the end of our uh, dinner, we did get some dessert, and this is just a rice cake flavor at Baskin Robbins. Super delicious as well. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Sorry about my voice. I am a little under the weather with some hay fever. The allergies are really getting to me. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, catch you guys in the next video. Stay hungry.